What's up Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video and this one I want to break down what's happening with Tesla Spy and the overall market. I'm going to talk about some new earnings that just came out, what the news is saying about Tesla, what you should be watching for as time goes on. But just know that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also if you guys can, please check out my Moomoo link. If you deposit $100, you're guaranteed 5 free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed 15 in total. Not to mention 8.1% APY on uninvested cash. So offering is very soon, just four days. Anyways, now let's talk about what's happening with Tesla in the markets. Looking at Tesla, we saw some very, very interesting volatility. We saw Tesla dump a lot more all the way back down towards our target in this 333 area. It doesn't have to be exactly that we're very close to that range. And now Tesla got bought back up just a little bit. So the question remains, will we kind of like get bought back up and reject and make our way back down to fill this gap? Or will, we, will this thing attempt to bounce from here? So I'll be watching this very, very closely. Now, one thing worth mentioning about Tesla is the fact that in China, they are once again cutting prices for the Model Y to bring uh, demand up, especially towards the end of the year. This is a big move that Tesla's making, and I think that this could benefit them a lot more positively. But there was some negative news as well, right? There's a lot of politics getting involved, uh, involving Elon Musk, Tesla, and then not to mention uh, Californian politics in the U.S. And California wants to once again reinstate their EV tax credits. But they're planning on specifically excluding Tesla from them. So very, very important stuff. Yeah, once again, politics is getting in the way. Um, I believe that the governor of California does have plans to run for president. And then he's going to try to side with one party. Elon Musk is part of another party. It gets all over the place. But I just want to call this out because this is, once again, not the best of news for Tesla. I do think that these tax credits will, or at least them getting cut, will negatively affect Tesla for the shorter term. Of course, Tesla will be fine for the long term. But just keep that in mind. That was a little bit more negative news. Now, something else that was negative for Tesla was also this news. So I actually saw this. There's been a lot of announcements involving, you know, tariff policy. Uh, what, what Trump basically said is that he wants to impose additional tariffs uh, on of about like 10% on all goods from China and 25% on goods from uh, Canada and Mexico once he takes office. So this news about tariffs all, already is like not, as, you know, not, not the best for Tesla, in my personal opinion. But um, with de deregulations, that's what Elon Musk is hoping will help to offset this. And we'll have to see how it goes. But that is part of the reason why Tesla saw some downside. Now, with the broader markets, today is Tuesday, November 26th, 2024. At 10 o'clock a.m., this is going to be 30 minutes after market open. We do have the Richmond Fed manufacturer numbers coming out. This might cause some volatility. Uh, so watch for some volatility at around the 10 a.m. area. As far as earnings goes, um, we had a couple of them for today. We had like Kohl's, Best Buy, and Macy's. Not going to go over the full details. Just know that as far as Kohl's goes, uh, they saw a big drop in their annual sales and their overall numbers are not as strong. Um, however, uh, as far as things are now going, uh, we're looking for a small decline in their full year net sales, which is why the share price is down. So, you know, not the strongest of guidances for them. Um, same thing with Best Buy. They cut their full year forecast. Not the best of news. And Macy's also delayed their earnings reports because of the fact that they have some like issues when it comes to their financial sector. So some negative news did come out for them. Just wanted to call that out. So that's pretty much it for the news. Um, just know one more thing. We are getting some tweets or like a, a lot more tweets than before from the soon to be President Trump. Uh, this might cause more volatility in the markets. I did hear Tom Lee say that um, his appointees for his new cabinet are going to be less stringent and it might be more positive for the markets. But that's pretty much it. Anyways, let's talk about Tesla. Let's talk about technicals and let's get away from all this politics talk. Um, so we have 342 as our resistance right now at the 20 EMA. If we break this, we're looking for essentially a target of about 349, maybe a little bit under that, that 340. Uh, you know, 348 area is going to be coming next if we manage to break past 342. If we reject off that, we're looking for the main support over here around this 330, 333 area around that range. If 333 to 335 breaks, we're looking for a dip back down for 328. And if that fails us, we come all the way down to fill this gap for 321. So it's your levels on Tesla. Now, the issue with Tesla is that, you know, the market's been all over the place as a whole. We were dipping a little bit more. I was correct that the market would dip and Tesla would test 333. But then we start getting bought back up again. So the market is just uh, in an interesting range. So I think that there is a risk of Tesla potentially uh, trying to push a little higher to reach test 342 or so. I also think SPY is going to try to push higher after all. So it's, it's very crazy, guys. SPY pumped, dumped, pumped, dumped, pumped, and then it came back down before it continued to push. So it's going back and forth and back and forth, but now we're back to bullish. 
they might try to pump things a little bit more before we see a move back down. So keep that in mind. I think that that might end up dictating Tesla. So Tesla might attempt to push here, but we're going to be watching to see how high this could go. Uh, if it does try to get back into the 340s, uh, it might make a lower high. If it can't surpass these highs, this is going to be at risk of coming back down to fill this gap. So it could be a pump and dump coming to Tesla. So keep that in mind. Make sure you watch 342, maybe a little bit above that as we try to push. And then we'll see if we end up coming back down to fill the gap below. We need to break past these highs to remain more bullish to, you know, maintain a cup and handle, but it's not a guarantee after the bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Look for a push. There may be a dip as time goes on. It's the most likely possibility. As far as SPY goes, SPY has a nice inverse and shoulders like structure. It does look more bullish here. I think it's going to attempt to push now. It, it was very tricky the way this was moving. If you guys look at this from the pre-market session, we got that dump right over here on the floor. We got a very bearish looking daily candlestick or four hour candlestick. I thought this would actually dip a little bit more, but now SPY is getting bought back up. So they might try to push it for 600. If that breaks, we're looking for 602 in that area. They might try to push it a little bit higher and close to that, to that range. Then we, then we might be coming back down to the lows that we saw around 595. So keep that in mind. We might see a small push first before we see a move back down. For now, the market might attempt to push a little bit higher. So keep that in mind. That might also help Tesla. NVIDIA is getting bought back up um, very close to this 200 email i did talk about this yesterday we're looking for essentially 138s to 140 so 140 could be coming for nvidia but then it might turn back down between 140 and 141 as we have some tough resistance coming up so for more upside close to 140 or above then we could be looking for a rejection after that please keep that in mind as far as bitcoin goes we remain more bearish we have to see if we could reclaim 92,500. otherwise this might be dipping close to about 91,000 for a little bit more downside so please keep that in mind for other factors out there we have the qqq this is pushing right now. I thought this would actually dip lower, but notice that we, we dipped down to our 50 EMA, then we just got bought back up. So a little change in plans. This is going to push first before we see a dip now. Uh, if we lose 504, we turn bearish. And if we continue this trend, I think 510 is coming, not to mention 512. I think the odds favor a little bit more upside, at least for the broader markets. Um, we might try to push higher for 510, if not 512, then we'll see if we get a rejection after that. So just keep that in mind. For other factors out there, we have ES. Yes, is trying to push higher. We have support at 59.91. Then we have this resistance to watch for 6,040. Yes, maybe trying to push for these highs at 6,040. We'll see if it gets a rejection or not from there. But look for a little bit more upside. I might try to push back up towards these highs, maybe even try to surpass them before we come back down. Uh, the way we moved yesterday was very tricky. I actually initially thought we would dip more, but now we're getting bought back up. Um, for Apple, same thing, essentially, we're going to attempt to push higher for about 234, and then we'll have to see if we reject. So we broke past 232 to remain bullish. Watch this 234 area. We might be testing that very soon. We'll see if we reject off that or not. Uh, keep that in mind. For MSTR, I know a lot of people are very interested in this. It's still dipping right here. We came very close to my target. I was talking about 380 to 377. That was coming. That's where we went to. If this fails us, we come down to 350. So we'll have to see if that holds. Give it some time. The IWM Russell 2000, it came down. So it did come down to fill this gap as you predicted, right? I was talking about that yesterday. And then at 239, got bought back up. It's also still showing some weakness compared to the market. So it could be making a lower high here. So it needs to hold above 242. Otherwise, there's a risk of returning back down to 239. So just keep that in mind. And then another couple of them, I'm going to be kind of quick with this. Coin is still remaining range bound. It's stuck between support around 293, not to mention 280 and we have resistance at 306.5 not to mention 315 so i think we're just going to continue to trade sideways near 300 for now not really doing much amazon is going to attempt to push higher we have this imbalance up here now we're back above 202 so we, we hit 202 rejected came back up rejected came back up and now we're trying to get bought i initially thought we would get rejected here but now we're getting bought back up during the pre-market uh because of new news so we're looking for a push attempt for about 30 or 204, excuse me, 204 is likely coming. We'll see if we get a rejection from there. Look for a little bit more upside. Meta is going to be testing 568 if that breaks. We're looking for essentially the 570 area. We'll see if we could hold above 570 or not. If not, we could be kind of like dipping back down closer to 560. So look for an attempt to push higher. For Microsoft, we're looking at 420 is our resistance if that breaks. We're looking for us to push back up for essentially... Uh, this next imbalance up here so look for an attempt to get up to 422 then 424 and we'll see if we get a rejection overall though i do anticipate a little bit more upsides showing some strength here look how tricky this was we basically we pumped here rejected pumped rejected pumped rejected it was really tricky to read that this was going to happen yesterday so that's why we're pushing a little higher so look for 420 if that breaks 422 and 424 then we could reject off one of those levels 
Uh, Google is now pushing for essentially 170. If that breaks, we're looking for 171. That's near our 20 EMA. Then we'll see if you reject. But overall, that's what I'm seeing, at least on the chart thus far. So anyways, market's very tricky. We are getting bought back up for now. Uh, we could see Tesla attempt to push into like the 342 area, maybe go a little bit above that. But then watch and see, we could be just making a lower high before we continue to dip later on. We still have that big gap to fill. So just be mindful of that. This move on Tesla might not last and be careful. I do anticipate a small pump upon open, but then we'll see how it goes from there. Anyways, thank you for listening. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours for another update and peace out.